Hey guys, so I thought that I would pop on and do a small video. First off, let me update you all. If you're new, you might not know. If you're returning, you may know, but if not, I'm just going to update everybody today. So, I am still kind of recovering from COVID. Uh, I'm not positive anymore. I took another test and it came up negative, so that's good. But I'm still having a lot of chest pain, like some coughing, some drainage going on, which is probably just sinuses, things of that nature. But my hair, my hair like fell completely out in like bald patches, like mainly right here. And it's still coming out like I washed my hair, well, my head and like a bunch come out from right there. And then like I've got a like sore spot right there and then it's like real thin going through here and then i've got a thin spot back here in the back but like here and here it's trying to work its way back in i don't know guys i may just have to like razor it off and be bald for a while until it knows what it's doing because some's growing back in and some's still trying to fall out so i don't know it's a crazy side effect doctor said that you know there's nothing they could definitively tell me why my hair is falling out uh, so they're blaming it on COVID so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna say COVID made my hair fall out guys and I mean it just in gobs I was washing my hair or no I was trying to put it up um, I had just got out of the shower I was trying to put it up and I was you know get my ponytail up and ready and I just noticed I was like, hair, hair, hair. And I'm like, where the heck is all these hairs coming from? And I'm still going like this. And then I look at my hands and I had like hair entangled everywhere. So, uh, yeah, I, I screamed for John. I was like, uh, something's wrong. And it just kept coming out in gobs. And then I ended up having these long patches and like bald patches and just crazy so but i am doing better i don't have covid anymore according to the little test um <clears throat> but oh i got my taste back yesterday you guys it is no joke i didn't realize just how good stuff tasted until i lost my taste i yesterday well last night John's like, well, what are we going to do for dinner? And I'm like, well, I, I'm not even really hungry because I ain't really had no appetite since I've been sick and things. And he's like, well, you know, got to eat something. And I'm like, well, what do you want? You know, and he, he wanted to go to Wendy's and get the big family chili thing or whatever. I asked Sissy, I'm like, hey, if he gets chili, will you eat chili? She said, yeah. So I was like, okay, go get the chili. And I was like, just grab me a Dave single. And I usually can eat about half of one of those. And then, you know, like give the rest to him. You guys, that ketchup and that mayo with that cheese and that lettuce and that onion and that meat. Oh my God. I never realized just how good a Dave single was. I, I, I bit into it and I suddenly got like super excited i'm like mm, mm. i was like mm. and john's like what is mm, like what is going on and i'm like this tastes amazing i'm like did they change the recipe or something and then it dawned on me i was sitting there and i'm like because mm, everything tasted like i never tasted anything before in my life um it was good Y'all, I was licking the the wrapper. Um, oh, my allergies. So yeah, I I you did I personally did not realize just how powerful our taste buds were until you don't have them and then they magically come back. So yeah, I that burger was amazing and it probably really wasn't. It was just me that had not been tasting anything for weeks all of a sudden got hit with all these flavors mustard ketchup mayo tomato onions um cheese the meat uh 
the bread, just all of it combined, I was like in taste bud heaven. So, super excited. I got my taste back. But this isn't a COVID video. I just wanted to give you guys a little update and share with you today what my crafting. I've been busy crafting. So, this one is like for my personal use at home. You know, I can't sell this because this dollar is, you know, belongs to another Etsy person that I, you know, been that I purchased. Um, but look how cute this turned out. So, like, it's Mr. Krabs and it's $10. But then on the back, you know, it's each Mr. Krabs is $10. So, it's a mini savings challenge. So, like, you know, you color in your little Mr. Krabs. And when you're done, you have $100 that you have saved. How stinking cute, guys. Yes. Mini savings challenges. So, then that made me excited and I wanted to make more. So, you girl did. Let me show you. And these, I can put these on my Etsy store because, you know, these is my, me, all me. <laughs> okay, so first up, it's another one of the Mr. Krabs, but there's more. So, like, each Mr. Krabs, you know, you color your little Mr. Krabs and it's $10. I mean, we all waste $10 here and there. I mean, why not if you have an extra to spare and you don't need it for anything, color little Mr. Krabs and put it in an envelope. How cute is that? A little mini savings challenge, okay? So there's that one. Mm. This one is a Sandy and it says each Sandy is $20. And so it's the same concept and I used some different pictures there. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm on my computer, so it's a little bit different. And I don't know why. Apple's supposed to be like right up there. You know what I'm saying? Like with the cameras and, and things. This is a, a 2021 or a 2020 iMac. It's something. I bought it new last April. So probably 21. Either way, this camera, I mean, to be... A brand new camera you know I feel like it's not that good could just be me so there's the the sandy one okay so this is a Patrick and it, each Patrick is five dollars um, and you know same concept as you save you know you color in your little Patrick's and they're all laminated and super adorable um, but yeah, I was sitting there and I was, you know, I was like, what can I do? You know, John and Sissy's off having a father-daughter day, which is great because you know, they're like fire and gasoline. They're so much alike. They say they're not alike at all. It's one of them type of things. So kind of got to force them to love each other. So they're off having a father-daughter day and I've been home uh, crafting. This one is a squid word. And how cute did that turn out? And each Squidward is uh, $15. I tried to keep these amounts low because I wanted to be for like low income. Because I as a low income person know how it is. It's so hard to try to save. I mean it just. You, you have to literally be a penny pincher. Just to be able to save. And so I wanted these to be you know low income. Just small amounts. Uh, no pressure, you know, you, you do it on your own time. You don't have to stick to a schedule. Like, if you don't have $5 to put in your little challenge, don't put nothing in there that day. If you don't have $10 or $20 or $15, um, you know, don't worry about it. Or, sometimes what I like to do with my own little personal uh, savings challenge, say uh, I'm doing one that's $5, like my Patrick. For that week... If I don't have $5, I will go ahead and just like right beside of it, $2, $3, $1, 50 cents. Whatever I have that I can't, you know, that I've done paid everything and it's my money and I know that I can keep my money and I ain't got to give it to nobody. I put it in some type of savings, you know, like a jar, an envelope. And if I, like I said, my little savings challenges, if I don't have $5, I don't, you know, I'll just write beside of it that for this day, I did like $2 or $1 or, you know, whatever. Whatever you got. It's, you know, have fun with it. 
my screen went black. Okay, guys, so these are my new little mini um, savings challenges. How cute. I'm going to do some more, some little different other characters and things. But this is what I got done uh, today. Do, 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 do. Um, and I'm also, I got my SpongeBob digital planner done i just have to get it the file onto etsy so that if anyone's interested they can get it same for these um and i started on a flintstones digital planner as well as cash envelopes uh savings challenges i got a little inspired a lady i don't quite remember her name i'll have to go back on my etsy and check my messages but a lady had asked me a while back Hey, did I have anything in Flintstones? Because she seen my SpongeBob. And uh, she had seen one of my old YouTube videos of where I was talking about um, SpongeBob and like Rugrats and like 90s TV characters or, you know, older TV shows and things like that. And she asked me about Flintstones. And I said, that is so funny because my mom is obsessed with Flintstones, like loves them. And there's a lot a lot of adorable cute free clip art all over plus you know I'm an artist so I draw a lot of these as well um so yeah so I'm working on all kinds of goodies for my Etsy shop and you know just for my own personal use because I'm crazy like that uh but yeah these turned out so cute and I love all the little mini challenges and I'm gonna be doing I want to do a um Let's see, oh, I got a Sandy, a Mr. Krabs, a Squidward, and a Patrick. So I want to do a SpongeBob, obviously. <laughs> and I want to do a Mrs. Puff, because you know everybody loves Mrs. Puff, and a Plankton, and a Pearl. Yeah. And maybe a Gary. Gary, I kind of like Gary too, but I'm just, I'm going to have all kinds of them. And I thought about making one or two of them like a $1 thing like where each one's only worth one dollar so like maybe you'll end up with like twenty dollars or ten dollars or fifteen dollars um or i've seen a lot of the penny challenge like those is nice i may do one of these in a penny challenge i don't know if you guys like my idea or if you like my little <laughs> i just dropped it if you like my little mini savings challenges and you want one email me give me your address i'll send you one uh, or I can like send you an email with the file in it. So I don't care to share. I love everybody. All right, guys. Well, if you are new, welcome to my crazy channel where I just rant and talk about everything that doesn't make no dang sense because that's me. Uh, and if you're returning, hey guys, y'all already know I need to be committed. I love you all. I hope everybody's staying safe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.